football day to tell me who's going to be top of the league come Sunday. Right, I think it's going to be, you know, a tough game for Arsenal. Major fitness concerns. We've got City at the Etihad and we've got Saka possibly out, Gabriel Magalhães possibly out and Gabriel Martinelli possibly out. I think Gabriel Martinelli is a definite. I'm not sure of Saka and Gabriel Magalhães. They was pulled out of their respective international squads because of the slight knock or muscle strain or it was something like that for both players and now I'm very very worried about this and we're going to the Etihad we're going up against Man City who won't be at full strength either possibly John Stones who got subbed off early in the game um, against Belgium for England uh, I think he'd done something to his groin it looked like he'd done something to his groin and uh, Carl Walker pulling out of the squad as well so you know but Man City got such a strength in depth in their squad so that game I'm very worried about Liverpool entertain Brighton in the early kickoff on Sunday. That's nailed on. They're um, they're just behind Arsenal on goal difference. We're on sixty four points each. Man City a point back on sixty three. Now who do I think is going to go to the um, top of the league on Sunday? Liverpool will definitely go to the top because they will definitely beat Brighton. Now it's a lot's going to rest on this game with Man City and Arsenal. And um, to be honest. I'm going to call it now. I don't think we're going to beat Man City at the Etihad. I, I honestly think we're going to go into Sunday morning, top of the league, like we are now, and we're going to exit Sunday afternoon, third place. I reckon we're going to be. I reckon we're going to be beating at the Etihad. I don't think we've got enough for Man City, especially with them key players, three key players. At I don't think that we're going to be top of the league. And I think also that it's going to stick a huge spanner in the works for our title uh, credentials for this season. I think it's going to be the beginning of the decline against Man City. We've still got to go away to Man United that I'm not worried about. I know we've still got to play Chelsea as well as another big club. They're, they're not as good as they should be, Chelsea, but still a difficult game at London Derby and also going away to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Another tough game. I'm always apprehensive about that game being the North London derby. A lot of bad blood there, and I don't think you know it's going to be an easy game for us. I think we might just nick it, maybe, but it's hard to think. It's hard to, it's hard to, um, it's hard to believe because of the capitulation from last season. Still hangs heavy on your heart, and it's still in your memory, and it still think it's going to happen again. We're, um, this international break has absolutely ruined our title charge, even though we've won the, the every game in the Premier League in 2024, eight games, and we've won them all. We've won them all, so we was, we was in good form, but our players would go to international duty, and this happens. This is what I'm scared of. This is why I hate these friendlies. I hate them, I despise them, but, and it's proper nosed us up, proper nosed up. Our title chances. This game against City has come at the wrong time for us. Why couldn't it be just before the international break? And then we might have had a better chance. But now, nah, I'm very, very doubtful that we can beat Man City at the Etihad Stadium. Especially without them three key players in our squad. Maybe Martinelli, you know, we've got Trossard, we've got Jesus. Martinelli, you know, could be covered. But Saka and Gabriel Magalhães... We ain't covering them. We haven't got the uh, the squad. We haven't got the bench. We haven't got the players to cover them two positions adequately enough for Manchester City. So, top of the league. The question I ask, who's going to be top of the league on Sunday? It's going to be Liverpool.